is. It's Hugo's signal. Right. Let's see what he's got. an important package of our own. I'll make sure you receive it. Alert! Ash Aragami in pursuit of unidentified trailer. Hmm? What? to end this. Oh, there's Reckless, and then there's Hugo. Understood. Now headed toward the fallen container. Looks like she's okay. Great, now let's skedaddle. Hold it. Is something up? Be quiet. Too late. It's located us. Ashborn. Here it comes. I can take this. 
prefer you not disturb us with these transitions. Did it? Whew. That got a little hairy. Anyway, that sure was a hell of an entrance, Claire. I give you 10 out of 10 for that one. I'm just glad I made it in time. You did well. Our mission was a success. It looks like we managed to survive again, Hugo. <laughs> yeah, it seems we both had our share of bad luck on that one. From what I hear, the folks on the transport are all safe, though. How about that? We're all heroes who rescued a transport from the fearsome Ash Aragami. Hugo? That's like firefighter arson. Come on, let's not get technical. More importantly, though, Claire, are you sure about this? Yes, I made my decision. All right, I just wanted to be sure. Yep, made him barren. Oh. Are you all right? You've only just gotten back with Feem, and we've already had a call come through from Gleipnir. No doubt it's about her. Yep, go figure. Don't worry. Everything's going exactly as we planned. Now is when things will really start moving. Be ready. There can be no room for leniency. That's gonna be your answer, is it? Watch what you say, Hugo. However, the decision does seem lopsided to me. We applaud the way that the cargo was safeguarded from Ash Aragami during its arduous journey to reach us. The response to the assault on the transport was handled admirably. If that's the case... Despite those achievements, 
The unveiling of the cargo manifest was a major breach of our contract. Furthermore, according to a detailed report from Inukai, the highly classified cargo was improperly handled, greatly reducing its usefulness to us as a specimen. There are no excuses for this. Damn! That bastard Inukai! Gleipnir will begin the process of seeking damages from Chrysanthemum. We will press charges of wrongdoing under Ashland Navigation Law for this outrage. As for you ages, you can expect to meet a firing squad. This incident was the result of my personal mismanagement. It was my responsibility. They are not at fault. In fact, they risked their lives to protect... You are a scion of House Victorious. You should know that I owe a certain debt to your father for his guidance. Wait quietly during these proceedings. I won't make this hard for you. I'm telling you that I'm the one responsible! <laughs> Very well, I'll speak frankly. You absolutely do not have the power to take responsibility for this. You owe your very life to House Victorious. Avoid any and all deeds that would sully that name. Could it be that you are simply failing to comprehend your own true value? <laughs> what is it? Sir, a large ash origami has broken through our second cordon and is approaching at high speed. What's that? Oh man, that's a real shame. Ash origami are tough to crack. Listen, all of you, go out and fight that ash origami. You can at least buy us some time. No thanks. We've got a date with a firing squad, remember? He's right. A quick execution does sound a lot better than being eaten by an origami. You're... you're in no position to... How about if the ash origami were defeated and you were safe again? Would you reconsider your decision then? Defeated? That is absolutely impossible! It's a large ash origami! By my family's name, I will defeat it. Alongside my companions. I know that look. The daughter of the great man Randall Victorious has most certainly inherited her father's valor. I am currently away from headquarters, so you will have to forgive my greeting you remotely. Allow me to introduce myself. Abraham Gadolin, Chief Commander of Gleipnir, at your service. Uh, governor General Gadolin? Oh. What's a Governor General want with us? I must admit it. We lack the capability to deal with that Ash Aragami. Thus, would you companions not lend us your strength in this time of need? Listen, Governor General. We don't have a problem with helping you, but we're going to need collateral. We'd be risking our lives. You can offer us appropriate compensation? I overheard your earlier conversation. I will bargain in good faith. Governor General, do we have your word on this? That will depend upon the results. The first condition is survival. Okay then. We have ourselves a deal. Now, sit back and watch what we can do.
Actually managing to defeat a large Ash Aragami. Unbelievable. What do you intend to do, Governor General? We now have proof that our strategy can succeed. Hmm? The power to eradicate even Ash Aragami. Indeed, it is the final piece we've sought. So, you're the Governor General? Well, what did you think? You were watching. You saw us fight, right? The results were marvelous. That and your spirit, conviction, and indomitable will. In a world choked by despair, your strength of will is like a beam of light toward the future. And then there is your prowess on the field of battle. A determined heart needs a sword to defend it. In such times where schemes whirl within schemes, what is to be trusted but one's own might? It would be regrettable to ruin such potential through a temporary lapse in judgment. So that means you're letting us go, right? Yes, naturally. That's not all, though. I want you to entrust Feem to us. 
I'm willing to bet that you guys have noticed by now, but there's something about her that attracts Ashbourne. Yes, taking all observations into account, we can conclude this. There can be no doubt that Ash Aragami possess a powerful desire to devour humanoid Aragami. We're the only ones who can keep Themes safe. Very well. We shall place Theme in your care. Your performance in battle did justice to the name Victorious. Your words are too kind. However... This is an organization. We can't give preferential treatment to one group or individual member. There is an objective reason behind that. What would that be? We will soon summon caravans from all ports for a grand assembly, a conference. There, we will be announcing a large-scale operation. We would like for you to join it. You mean the Fenrir HQ Reclamation Initiative? Yes, precisely. You can count on us for this endeavor. My thanks, Hilda. You have grown admirably. Sir. Hmm? Allow me to express our gratitude once more. We are deeply grateful for you rescuing our people. I will contact you later regarding the operation's details. I have high hopes. What is the meaning of this? You just handed over Specimen 1 without contacting me at all! It will be safer in their hands for now. Cells from the specimen have been taken. It will not impede Odin's technology verification. Besides, though it may be in origami, it appears human. Using it as a guinea pig would be painful for anyone. Wouldn't you agree? Quite.